Hi, everybody. I am Professor Damien Underwood, and I want to talk to you about my field, which is alternative computing. And I'm going to show you two of the interesting research projects I have in that field. Uh, as you can see, as always, I work with a bunch of other professors in the department, uh, Gatana, Chris, and Raj. And I have a bunch of students. Uh, Michael Nope is particularly uh, able in this area, I would say. Anyway, just to give you some background about myself, I started out doing research in quantum computing. I found quantum computing to be very high level, very concrete, you know, easy to deal with. I decided to drill down a bit into the real theory that underlies it. And through a series of um, what I would call realizations, I came to study some uh, more maybe esoteric fields. And I'll share two of these with you today. So uh, first, there's energy field communication, computation. That's the first thing I started studying. Basically, I want to study the capacity of the aura, the human energy field, to perform computation and communication. This began with the obvious research project of aura area networking, where we basically send information through the human aura rather than through the body. You might have heard of body area networking. This has the obvious advantage of not electrocuting the subjects. Um, one problem we have with this research area is we can't figure out how to attach the devices to the aura. Um, basically, they don't just have, they tend to fall to the ground. Um, on the other side of that, we'd like to actually perform computation with auras. So it turns out that by stabilizing the aura's neutron polarity, you can in fact make the aura store a bit or act as a gate. And in fact, last year in a football game at Husky Stadium, we harnessed the collective power of the auras of the crowd and made them into a giant FPU, and they computed four digits of pi, which was quite a, a success. Um, we don't think that the resulting riot was our fault. Uh, we're still looking at the long-term effects on emotional stability of harnessing people's auras, but that's, that's future work. Um, now, the project, though, that I'm most excited about is alternate plane computation. And, uh, you know, we have some results already in this field. Uh, although, of course, we don't call it alternate plane computation. We have a, a slightly uh, more uh, fun name for it. We call it necrocomputing. <laughs> Basically, we are harnessing the power of the dead for computation. It turns out, that, of course, as, as we run up against the brick wall of Moore's Law, we're going to have more and more problems finding deeper sources of computation. Well, we think that we might have found the answer in the power of the spirit world. Um, so what we've done is we've constructed our own novel input device. Well, I say novel, although you might recognize it. It is based upon a familiar input device. <laughs> we, um, we basically modified a Ouija board to have the symbols of the propositional calculus on it so that the dead can communicate to us in the language of mathematics. Um, and so basically it works as you might expect. We have a specially modified device that tracks on the board. And, uh, well, I can show you that. This is our, uh, our experimental setup. We have uh, a specially modified mouse, and we basically ask a question of the spirit world, leave the device running. This is, this is set up in the graphics lab in the blackout room. Uh, normally, there's a little bit more to this setup. There are some, some candles and uh, some paint stuff. I won't go into that. And uh, we ask our question, we leave it running. And over time, usually overnight, we get our response. Um, usually, just to say, the, the culture in our research group, we tend to work late nights. Um, and this is uh, the application that we use to, uh, to get our answers. You can see that um, we track the, the position of the mouse. And uh, well, there's obviously some tuning parameters. And then at the bottom out comes the answer in the language of propositional calculus. Um, we'd also like to get the dead to help us write papers and web pages and stuff. So we need to create a modified version of this board that has LaTeX uh, symbols on it and HTML tags. Um, Basically, that's about it. I, I'm, I think this is a very exciting uh, research area with lots of potential. Uh, despite its name, uh, necrocomputing is very much alive. And, uh, and I welcome you all to, to, uh, to, to join me next year. Um, I, think that, I think that we can make a big difference in the world of computation. Thanks.